From 1995 to 2003, the Conservative government of Ontario sought to tear up the social fabric that had been so carefully built by two generations of organized labour. Under President Wayne Samuelson, the OFL was tasked with fighting back, reviving the morale of struggling workers and a public increasingly thrown into poverty and homelessness by cuts to social programs. A better and brighter Ontario is waiting on the horizon. Let's go there together. In 2001, for the first time in its history, the Federation opened its ranks to a new style of activism. It sponsored debates among workers and community activists from faith groups to housing activists to environmentalists and youth. The OFL took charge of charting an alternative vision, a people's charter for Ontario. The charter set aside differences and focused on the bigger goal, power in solidarity. We need to refocus on organizing. We must halt the attack on our rights to organize, but we have to work together like never before to open the doors of unorganized workers to collective bargaining. Brothers and sisters, it's time we get our act together, share strategies, and open the door to young workers and build this movement. The Federation's action was timely. Buoyed by the recent resignation announcement of Mike Harris in 2001 and the pressure for justice from conservative-generated crises, the OFL redoubled its focus on people power and social justice. By 2005, Labour's solidarity with community was beginning to yield changes for all. The Conservative government was gone, and the incoming Liberals agreed to call an inquiry into the killing of Dudley George. In presenting the OFL Human Rights Award to Dudley George's brother Sam, and to lawyer Murray Klippenstein, Wayne Samuelson acknowledged Labour's own debt to the First Nations activists at Ipperwash. You need to remember, this was the very first, very first real protest a newly elected Mike Harris government faced. And you've seen how they reacted. You will remember that many of us began protesting, as a matter of fact, a few months later in the city of London on December 11th of the same year. We'll never know how the provincial government would have reacted to those protests and the many that came after were it not for the sacrifice, the murder that happened in April Wash Park. I didn't ex really expect an award for what I'd done. I just want to, on behalf of my, my family, my brother, Thank you all for the support that you have given to us over the years, and, um, and we're going to try our best, and we're still trying our best to, to accomplish what we set out that day, and that's to get the truth out. Um, I didn't do it for an award. I did it because my brother had lost his life, and uh, I just want to thank you all. Go ahead. At the national level, the Federation's support for the NDP was producing results. Jack Layton spoke to the OFL convention after being elected leader of the party in 2003. We're being told not to dream about our country anymore. We're being told that our country simply has to be downsized. That we have to downsize our dreams. It's Paul Martin's dreamless agenda for Canada. Pay off debt, cut taxes, basically do not intervene, do not engage, do not take on the challenges and the possibilities uh, that we have as Canadians. Well, I think it's time to present to the Canadian people an alternative vision that embodies a dream of building a country once again. And that's what we're going to do. 